Hello everyone. Welcome to Winged Horse Designs. I'm Donna Goodwin. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator located in Brookings, South Dakota. Today's video, whoa. today's video, we're going to work on a win bay window card. So I think you're really going to enjoy it and I'm going to switch cameras and go ahead and get started. Okay, here's a better view of the card. When it's folded up and it displays really nice, you can see it creates a bay window effect. The best part about this card is it will lay flat and go inside an envelope. Now, I opted not to put any embellishments on here, extra embellishments. Sometimes you can't. I didn't have a ribbon that really matched very well. A nice ribbon or another piece of pretty paper would have worked here really well. But I didn't really have one that I felt worked nicely with the design I had picked. So I thought, you know, it looks pretty good without embellishments. And sometimes a card just doesn't need that. You're, you're going to need, we'll talk about the cardstock pieces later, you'll need something that creates a lack me latch mechanism, something you can slide in under here. So when it's closed, it looks like this, and you can see the flowers back here. And when it's open, you can see them. You could put panels here if you wanted to, to write on or write down in here. Or you could just put a white panel on the back if you're using dark cardstock like I am and write your message on the back. So let's talk about, let's, first I'm going to show you what products I chose to use. I chose to use Color and Contour. It's a stamp set that's actually carrying over into the new catalog. And I chose this pretty little whimsical image and so happy for you. But you can see it's got some wonderful sentiments on it. And it does have these images here that you can use to two-step stamp. I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to show you a different way to color this whimsical flower. And then I brought in the stitched rectangle dies so that you can create this bay window by, well, we'll use this piece even though it's a little bit large, by just simply gluing something on the top as long as it doesn't extend over either side once the card is closed. But I opted to follow Linda Heller, I got inspiration from her. She actually cut the window out, a window out of it, so that you could look through and see a bay window. And I liked that idea. So we're going to do that. The measurements are in the description, but you're going to need a card base that starts at four and a quarter inches by 11 inches. We'll do the scoring in a moment. You'll need a piece of neutral. My neutral is three and three quarter inches by four and one eighth of an inch, basically just a smidge different here. And that's to keep, when we start laying it together, that's to keep these tiny um, borders rather than a large border at the top and skinny borders at the side. So just make it a smidge smaller if you don't like those tiny measurements. You'll need a piece big enough for whatever you're using for your latch mechanism. I've already die cut that piece out. And then for mine, and we'll talk about measurements later, I have three pieces that measure, I forgot my notes. They measure one and one eighth by four and one eighth. Oh, well, there's my note right there. So you need three pieces there. And then because I'm using a larger center, my center is one and seven eighths by four and one eighth. And I labeled them so I'd get them all in the right place. And then I chose to use two ink colors, Mary Malo and Old Olive. The Mary Malo ink is already sold out but any ink color that you're doing will work just fine. And I'm using Delicate Desert Designer Series paper. So you can do this a couple ways. You can make these three panels all even, or as I chose, because I wanted to be able to see more of this image underneath when it's in the bay window effect, I've made this panel a little bit wider and these a little bit narrower. The important part is that your left and right side of your window need to be the same measurement in terms of width. And then you're going to need a little bit to hold it together on the left side and a little bit to flip in underneath your latch on the right side. 
So I'll set that aside and I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer. And we're going to score this. I'm going to use my two outside edges at a half of an inch. So I'm going to score it a half of an inch. And I'm going to grab my notes real quick. One and three quarters of an inch. That's making this panel that I just scored, these side panels, one and one quarter inch. Then I'm going to come into three and three quarter inches. So my center panel is two inches. Then I'm going to score it five inches. So another one and one quarter inch panel. And then I'm going to score at five and a half inches, which is your standard half card fold. If you find it difficult to work with the longer piece later when we go in and put the and cut the die, you can start with two pieces that measure four and a quarter inches by five and a half and simply work with this half for your scoring because we're going to glue this down anyway. So we're going to fold that center piece in. We're going to do a valley fold on that first one. We're going to do a mountain fold on the next two folds. And a valley fold on the end. And when we put it together, we will have our bay window effect. Like I said, if you find that difficult, start with two pieces because this piece is going to get glued together anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and set that aside and do my stamping and coloring, and then we'll come back and talk about assembly. So I'm going to start with the Mary Malone, and I'm going to stamp my sentiment. I chose so happy for you, so you could use this card for any occasion. There we go. And then I'm going to do something a little bit different for this piece. If you're enjoying any of the videos I do, please do like, comment, and share. I would appreciate that. I'm going to bring in some daubers. These are skinny daubers. These are actually makeup daubers I picked up at the dollar store. And I'm going to bring in my stamp, and I'm going to color these lines, color this stamp, with daubers, but by using these that are a little bit smaller, I can get a little more precise. So I'm going to do the flowers in Mary Malone. It's kind of a dark color for spring, but you know, some of those deep red flowers that'll come out in the spring are really pretty, and I thought this color would work nice with that. So there's the flower. I'm going to do the same thing with my stem and leaves in Old Olive. And this allows me to get into the little bitty pieces here where the stamp's so close together, where your regular sponge dauber that fits on the tip of your finger is a little bit wide and it's difficult to get in here and be as precise. These little sponge applicators in the makeup section of the dollar store or any department store are really handy. I try, tend to use the dollar store because why spend a lot of money on something that you don't need to? I 
And I know I have people watching me from other countries and I'm not sure what you have that's equivalent to the dollar store. So. So this ink dries a little bit on the fast side because it's dye-based ink. So we need to add some moisture to it somehow. So I'm full of hot air. So I'm just going to kind of huff on it a little bit. And that will re-moisten the ink. And, and I might be huffing on it twice. I'm going to make sure I get this. Since, there we go. So this is the up and down side. And I'm just going to stamp this right in the center. Now this is photopolymer, so you should be, I should be using a foam mat underneath it, but my desktop is a foam mat. So I'm going to set that aside. And then what I'm going to do is, like you do when you're doing pastels, I'm going to use this dauber to color this instead of using the stamp. I could use this stamp and line it up and it would color the flowers, but I don't have anything for the leaves. And I wanted the flowers to look similar to the leaves when I um, color them. So I'm just going to do just like you would with pastels. I'm just going to kind of color the inside. And I'm not even being real precise with that as well. So rather than use blender pens or pencils, I thought it would be kind of fun just to use the daubers since I had them out anyway for coloring my stamp. And then I'm just going to color in these leaves a bit. And there's my image colored. Now, if you would like to follow me on other areas, you can find me on my website, Winged Horse Designs. You can find me on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, on also all on Winged Horse Designs. Also, if you see any products that you like and you would like to order them and you don't already have a demonstrator and you're located in the United States, I would love to be your demonstrator. And there's my host code. And you'll have to go back and pause on replay. Well, this will be replayed, so you'll have to pause in order to capture that. I want to get that out of the way so that I can work here and I got to remember to work up top. So now I'm just going to glue down each of these panels. It really doesn't matter to have to label them the way I did unless, and this pattern doesn't matter, but if you had a pattern that is very directional and you want it to all match across, then you would want to, as you're cutting these pieces out, you would want to label them. Just to make it easier when you're ready to assemble, you don't have to go back and try to line them all up together. Plus, if you label them, you have this nice little flag to help you hold things down. So there's the front, but then we also need the piece here. So this piece here, I'm just going to 
go ahead and glue it in now. And the next step is to cut out our window. And like I said, you wouldn't have to have a window. You, if let's say you had a piece of car sucks like this, you could glue it right on the top. But I just, like Linda Heller, I thought it was nice to have a real window. You could even get fancier and put a piece of clear acetate between your printed paper and your card base. I just didn't feel that that was really quite necessary. Actually, I think I want my washi tape on the inside in case it really sticks going through the machine. So I'm going to move all this out of the way. And I have to bring in the big guy because this one is four and a quarter inches. So I'm going to bring in the big machine here. And normally you would want to run this through so that it's kind of at kind of at an angle so if the roller comes across it more evenly. That's not possible this time. So you're going to hear it's going to be like hitting a speed bump or a pothole. You're going to hear this big clunk as, it, as the rollers hit hard against that die. It's kind of hard on the die and hard on the roller, but every now and then you just don't have a choice. So there's the first clunk. There's the second one. stitched edge here on this piece so here's a piece you can use on some other project and the same thing if the washi tape will come off without tearing it and the same thing with this piece you have another piece you can use on another project in the meantime, you now have a window in your center panel. So let's go ahead and glue in our piece, our inside piece. You know, I'm in this room alone doing this for you. I don't know why I keep referring to we. So there's our inside, there's the inside, and then we need to glue this piece down. So if you're crafting along with me, there's we, right? So we just need to glue this down, and I'm going to hold that for a little bit and give that glue a chance to dry. Again, if you had the right ribbons or another piece of good coordinating pretty paper, you could put even decoration here as well. Now we need to create our latch to hold our window in the bay uh, fold. So I'm going to take some dimensionals. I'm actually going to use the edge here because the edge comes in very handy for something like this. I'm going to flip it this way. And I want my piece to be right about here and lock in there. So I want it to lock right about here. So I'm going to put this right about here. And then when it comes, it will catch this edge and stop. And then we'll just I'm 
I have a bad habit of getting as close to myself as I can. And then I'm off the screen on you. So I'm going to put mine just down in that bottom corner. And then this catches in and latches and you have a bay window card. So I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did enjoy this, please do like, comment, and share. Have a wonderful weekend, everyone. I will be live on Monday, 10 a.m. Central Time, with a different version of an accordion fold card. I did an accordion fold card a few weeks ago, and I'm going to do another one, but a slightly different modification of it. So, oops, forgot to do this. <laughs> Have a wonderful weekend, everyone. Happy trails.